In this video, we will see how to create comic books using Canva for free. Watch till the end and we will see how to create awesome comics with endless customization options to suit your stories. We will also see a list of use cases on ways you can creatively use these comic strips. Alright, so here's how to design comic books using Canva. So once you're on Canva, go to the search bar and type comic strips. So comic strip and click on this one here. The standard size that they provide is the 25 by 20 centimeter template. And here are all the templates. You can either search and filter these by free and pro, free or pro. Note that when you select free option here, there are some which also comes out as paid ones. So these can be easily customized and you can pay for it using your credits or maybe direct payment and then make use of them. But there are a bunch, a dozens and dozens of free templates that you can customize the colors, font, expressions, emotions, illustrations, objects into whatever you want to do with. And you can also filter these by colors. All right, so now let's pick one template and then go ahead with designing that. Let's pick this one. All right, so this template, once it's loaded, you will see that the initial frame, the page, gives you idea on how you can set up the objects, people, expressions, their uh, thought and uh, speech bubbles and titles, everything here. And on the second page, we can also get the uh, wireframe of the entire comic so you can create multiple pages once you fill up the details within the first page you can start using this and then create a copy of it so you can uh, create multiple pages of this comic in order for you to create a copy of this all you need to do is to just click on this duplicate page and you'll have another page created so this way you can create multiple pages to complete your story in this panel comic strip all right so once you're here Clicking on this first one, let's say you want to customize this itself. First thing you want to do is to zoom in a bit. So we can get to the details of people and their expressions. Okay, so the title, if you want to edit, just click on this title text uh, element and uh, double click to write whatever you want here. So I'm going to just call it home sweet home. Now let's look at this person over here. Okay, so this person over here says hi and then I'm home. Now let's say we want to change this to a very excited face with a good morning here and make sure this fits in properly. And let's say you want to change this expression. For that, I'm going to click here once, ungroup this because the expression and the person are all both grouped together. Clicking on ungr ungroup, you can see now the expression is now changeable. To do this, I'm going to scroll scroll down and go to my illustration set over here let me zoom out a bit so you can see all the expressions uh, let's take something that's really exciting here okay this sounds exciting I mean sorry this looks exciting let's pick this one I'm going to click on it and then copy go to my first page zoom in click on this once delete it and then paste the face here okay i guess it got pasted elsewhere i'm going to go and take it it's over here shorten this to fit inside the face there now we have an exciting face so this is how we can customize the face expressions illustrations i hope you get the idea and this one is a pretty uh, um, sad or maybe in a surprised or shocked face expression so that you can change by going to the illustration set and pick the expression that you want and add that here and i've seen that this works uh, equally well for both male and female so it should not be a big problem as you can see now this easily had fit in here all right, and then if you want to rotate this, of course you can use this rotate option and then customize the way it looks. Next, let's say you want to change the uh, speech bubble over here. Again, these are also customizable. You can simply get rid of this and go to your illustration set. Don't forget to scroll down to choose this illustration set because this is it's a this is a page if you click directly on this from here 
this will ask you within a pop up whether you want to replace the current page or add a new page so we, we don't want to do that for that i think this is one tricky thing to remember all the time you want to scroll down to pick what you want so let's say i want to instead of this i want to pick this one we had this earlier on the first grid the comic grid so i'm going to take this speech bubble scroll all the way up and then zoom out a bit and then paste it so this becomes my good morning speech bubble place it properly and then with the position let it go back now if you think that the speech bubble is interfering with the lamp behind we can easily take it up so the lamp becomes visible one easy thing i have found is uh, you might want to use the keyboard's uh, arrow keys instead of the mouse because that gives you the tiny nudges which you will need to create those uh, uh, minute adjustments all right so now let's look at some of the objects here so here's a door that you want to place these are all available from the illustration set again so let's scroll down to see the available sets so here's the door that i can pick up and then alter it there's a clock a window a table an indoor plant a photo frame sofa set for people to sit on and then different illustration uh, with people here so one thing to note here you can customize the color of the addresses here to whatever you want and in fact all the illustrations that you see here are all easily customizable with whatever color combinations that you need once you finish the complete story here you can also add some expressions here like question mark or heart bubbles and then or surprised uh, maybe a boom or a bam or whatever you want by going down here and then you can see that there are some sparkles uh, drops question mark a bulb for an idea or a heartbreak or a spring or however you want to use this and if these are not enough you can also search for more here from going to the elements and then uh, type in comic bubbles this is the keyword that you want to use so you can have a uh, a similar comic bubble added to your um, stories scroll on a bit you can also find some more here some of these are pro so where you will have to pay to use that but there are some a bunch of free as well like these and some are even animated so if you want to add some animated expressions or speech bubbles you can download those as uh, video an mp4 video or even present it online and just like comic bubbles you can also search for uh, comic pets let me get rid of this uh, bam bubble here so here are some of the comic pets and uh, let's say you want only the static ones not the animated you can click on this control button and then say static and apply filters that way you will only find non animated comic pet uh, graphics and uh, you can also have comic man and comic woman that you can search here and then add these to your comics and speaking of use cases um one thing that comes to my mind is that uh, students and teachers can really make use of these like for example if you are a teacher you can engage with your students by creating your own comic strips and then uh, these can also be used as given as a creative assignment for students to express their creativity for free like they can add these artworks and then uh, come up with their own stories and do some storytelling sessions and you can also use this for wedding cards or uh, create something for your websites maybe for publishing story books uh, you could create memes with this have uh, any current situation converted into a meme uh, you might have heard of dilbert and other uh, comic characters so you can make your own character and then make it famous um, we can also print on coffee mugs t-shirts flyers certificates business cards photo books the options are endless imagination is the only limit here and you can also make explainer videos maybe we can show uh, like a uh, let's take a party scene you can add characters and then add some comic party scenes and have that graphically presented to your audience you can also use it for creative office presentations all right so as you can see canva has many such useful features and i have made a playlist of lot of such videos showing some useful techniques just click on this thumbnail to watch it now i'll see you in the next video